Well, I hope you're ready because I'm not sure I am. I'm back in the kitchen again. I've reached the point I, I just don't even like to walk in the kitchen except to get something to eat or drink already made. But I got in the mood for meatloaf and hamburgers. So when I went to Kroger the other day, I bought a package of a, a pound of Angus ground beef. That's 80, 20%. And then they had the big package of ground beef and pork. Now, some of you may not remember, but I remember it well. When my mother made a meatloaf, she had three things in it. Hamburger meat, sausage, and veal. You had twice as much ground beef as you had sausage and veal. You had those three things in a meatloaf. I had completely forgotten that was the way everybody made meatloafs. I'm talking about in the 40s and 50s. So I bought the two packages. Now, I'm not quite ready to make the meatloaf. I happen to have bought a large package of hamburger buns. They're nice and soft. Uh, that's the kind I like. I'm in the mood for a good hamburger or cheeseburger. I always use cheese on my hamburger. So, I may have given you this recipe before, but I didn't show you how to do it at the time. This time, I'm going to partially show you how to do it. What I have done, I have mixed the one pound of ground beef. I'll show you. Here we go. Yeah, got to get that loosened up good so I can mix my other ingredients with it. One pound of the ground beef, and then I took about a half a pound, maybe not quite that much, of the mixed beef and pork added to it. So I'm going to make a few hamburgers. Not going to eat them all at the same time because I have discovered you can refrigerate those hamburgers after you have cooked them, put them in the microwave and heat them up, and they're just as good as if you just finished frying them. So, you can see how much I've got right here in this bowl. Now, this is the way I do my, okay, I like onion. Now, I don't know, this is, you can guess that this is probably a half a cup, half a cup, of, and you want your onion chopped pretty small. This goes in with my hamburger meat. I'm not going to fry them in the onions. I'm going to add the onions to the hamburger meat. Next, oh, let's see. You gotta have an egg. You know, you have to put an egg. So, here we go. See if I can get in there without any shell. There we go. That goes in the sink. Oh, uh, run that around a little bit. In fact, I probably could have used two eggs, but I'm just going to use one. The more you make, the more you have to add. So we're just going to go with one egg, mix that in there. Now, this is something my mother always did. She took a piece of light bread, and I took the crust off, and I wet it. Got it good and soggy wet. But I squeeze most of the water out of that. And this makes it easy 
to mix with the hamburger. When you've got it loosened up that way, you can mix that with your hamburger and it'll blend in. You won't have chunks of bread. Let's see how we do this so you can see it. Anyway, we're mixing the bread and it's going to just blend right in. I don't like big chunks of bread. So anyway, once we get the other things in with this, You'll be okay. Now, this is something most people don't do. And I have to tell you, it wasn't my idea. I stole it from Julia Charles. She wouldn't mind, I'm sure. Because that's why she was so popular. People copied her recipe. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to add sour cream. You ever added sour cream when you made your hamburgers? Well, I'm going to see. We'll just guess at this. Considering I'm, there's one big tablespoon. Another tablespoon. I think I'll add a, just a little bit more. That's what we're adding to this. Sour cream left for something else. Now, gotta stir that up good. Get it going good. Yeah, here we go. I'll let you watch me. I think you can see it well enough to know what I'm doing. If you can't see it, you mixed enough hamburger in your lifetime, you know how to do things like this. So, it's mixing up pretty good. I'm gonna get that sour cream blended in there. Got sour cream, onions, one egg, and one slice of bread. Did you write that down? Well, I don't want you asking me, what's the recipe? Because I'm telling you, and you can remember all of this. It's not hard to remember. See, it's starting to blend up really good. Getting that sour cream mixed in there. Got the egg mixed. I'm almost tempted to do another egg, but I don't think I will. I'll end up with a meatloaf. But I'm not careful. Okay. Let's see, we're finished with the sour cream. We're finished with the onions. And I've got the salt and pepper, of course. But I wanna show you these little salt and pepper shakers. They're so cute. Now yeah, let me get up close, right here. You see what that says? Dr. Pepper. Aren't they cute? And they're the perfect size for keeping on the stove. I like this size salt pepper shaker. But I didn't know they made such things as this. And a friend, I won't mention his name, but I hope he's watching, uh, sent me these. I just think they're cute as can be. And not only that, he sent me two cans that are like banks, you know, the, like the piggy bank. But once you get those coins in there, you can't get them out. I don't know what I'm supposed to do if I need a bunch of pennies. I'll just have to go to the bank and get them, I suppose. But anyway, I've got my Dr. Pepper can that looked like the drink, but it got coins in it. As he said, you don't give a wallet or a purse to someone without including money. He forgot the money. Anyhow, I'm getting so many Dr. Pepper things from people now. I haven't, did I show you this? I think I showed you this. This is from my friend in Arizona. She's so thoughtful. And I've tried it out and I tell you what, this whole quart of Dr. Pepper. And I've decided to 
Dr. Pepper Company needs me to advertise for them. I've been drinking Dr. Pepper as long as I can remember. In fact, my mother would be 127 years old today. If she was still alive, she'd still be drinking Dr. Pepper too. Because she's the one that started the habit with me. And we both had to have our Dr. Pepper every day. So those of you who are involved with Dr. Pepper Company, here I am anytime you want me to advertise for you. Okay, the other thing, let's see, was there something else? I'm heating up my skillet. Sometimes we get hamburgers, cheeseburgers. Some people like tomatoes. I don't eat tomatoes and ketchup on my, my hamburgers. I think you just ruined it when you do that. But I'm the exception. And a lot of us like bacon on our hamburgers and cheeseburgers. I love bacon, but I didn't want to bother frying bacon just for that. So what I'm using to fry my hamburger is bacon grease. That ought to flavor it. If the bacon does, why wouldn't the bacon grease? So I'm heating my skillet up now, getting it uh, hot enough so that I can have to use my hands for this. And they're clean. So I'm going to stir this up a little bit more. Make sure that bread is blended in. Incorporated. Now that's a word that I never connected with food. It just doesn't sound right to me. You blend it in or else why do you have to incorporate it? Some of you might not agree with me on that, but you know, I had that small town way of thinking. My mother would never incorporate it in the thing. She'd say, throw it in there, mix it up. That's what you do. Now I'm ready for this. I hope there's not too much fat in this beef and pork. So I'm going to, I may just fix four of them. Or, oh, I just hate having to do this part. But it's holding together good. And I think my skillet's about ready. Getting hot. And I'm going to put this in there. Let's see, let me turn this around a little bit so you can watch. There's the skillet. Let's see if we... Oh, you hear it sizzle? Okay, I'm going to do the second one. This is going to be good. I'm going to be having a late supper. need to turn it down a little bit now. I don't want it frying too fast. Two. Okay, these are going to be pretty thick. But I like thick hamburgers. And what I wish I had was some good green onions. I haven't had a good green onions, I bet, in 10 years. They just don't have that bite to them. They don't have any taste. And I don't even know why people cut off the green tops and use them in their cooking. Because I can't see that they do anything. Okay, I've got four in there. Let's see, I've got enough left. I think I can squeeze in two more. 
We're going to see what happens. And I keep these in the refrigerator. I don't want you to see me. I don't like talking to the side of the refrigerator. Okay. Here's another one. And I'm going to have to find something to talk about while these fry. Notice I have my onions already chopped. My sour cream out. Everything's ready. I like to do the cooking that way. I don't like to watch people slicing and cutting and trimming and peeling. It kind of bothers me to have to watch somebody peel ten potatoes before they tell you what they're going to do with them. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. This one's a little smaller than the others, and it's going to go right in the middle. Got the onions in it. But I always add more onions to my hamburger when I... Ah. Okay, let me wash my hands. Get that fat off of them. And I'll be right with you. Okay. I'm going to turn this around. I want you to see the skillet. See the skillet? I don't know if I can turn this up or not. Probably knock it in the floor. I'm going to take a chance on it. Yeah, let's get it over here. There's my hamburgers. Now we'll talk while the hamburgers are frying. trying to think what to talk about. You know what? When they predicted rain, they were right. It rained yesterday and it rained today and it's supposed to rain two more days. Now my attitude gets a little, yeah, I don't know what you want to call it. Because I don't like gloomy days. I'm not a happy girl when you have a gloomy day. Jan's working on her, her uh, class reunion. I'm telling you folks, she knows how to get the job done. I'm bragging on her, and I should, because what she's doing is what most people would not do. She takes it upon herself to plan class reunion for, or say, a hundred people. She's expecting that many people to show up, and I think they will, because they look forward to coming and seeing what Jan has done with the decorations and what her program plans are. She has a good caterer. She uses the same caterer every five years. I know who she is. Her mother is coming to the reunion because she found out that I was going to be there and Curtis's mother was going to be there and Susan's mother was going to be there because we are going to work the uh, desk as the students all come in. This is the 50th class reunion we're talking about. So some of them may be on canes like me, you know. So anyway, we're going to be taking the money. We're going to be handing out the name tags. And there's other things that are going to be done. I can't tell you what they are because I don't want the students to know ahead of time what to expect. I want them to be surprised when they get there. Jan has an outfit plan that... She's going to look pretty. I guarantee she always looks pretty. She's just a pretty girl. She's getting worn down, though, because she's trying to sell her house. She's having to move furniture from one house to another house, get rid of things, work at the uh, antique shop, and plan a high school class reunion. And I think she's going to be dropping on her feet halfway through this reunion because she's going to be worn out. 
but I hope the students all appreciate what she's doing because she's doing it willingly. She's doing it because she wants it and she wants everybody else to want it too. You reach a point in life where there isn't much left and her friends are doing the same thing my friends are doing. They're dropping like flies. You've heard that expression. I'm sure you have. So, we these four ladies are going to be right by the front door. We can see the people when they, as they come in. And I know a few of them. They know a few of them. And uh, a few of them know us. Oh, let's see. I've got to turn the turn my hamburger. What to do with my lady? Well, oh, here we go. This is what I'm doing, a spatula. Let's see if one's ready to be turned. I'm going to see. Yeah. Yeah. It's turning okay. I'll turn it a little bit. And let's get the next one. I don't want them to fall apart. Oh, see, this is kind of loose when you've got that many ingredients in your hamburger. Ah, uh, come on now. Gotta get around here to the back side and get to it. There we go. See if I can turn. There we go. We're getting it turned over. It's going to work. I am so hungry that I know these are going to be good because I'm hungry enough to make them good. Whew, yeah. One here. I'm doing a good job on these. They're not falling apart yet. Okay, let's see if I can get the one in the middle. Come on now, get on there. Here we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. Now, we're going to let these fry. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to get a hamburger bun out. I'm going to be ready. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. I'll show it to you in just a minute. Let me get my bun out. Um, this is going to be my hamburger bun. Get this back tied up. And before I do anything else, and before I forget what I was going to show you, I'll get it out of the refrigerator. In the freezer. Now, careful. Something's liable to fall. It always does. What did I do? They're in here somewhere. Ah, oh, here they are. Right in front. Here for now. They're liable to fall. First, I'm going to get a small skillet out of the cabinet if I can. I can reach it. This is a small skillet. I'm going to put a little oil in it. This is olive oil. Covers bottom of the skillet. Now what I want to show you is this. This is a Kroger brand. Let me turn this around this way. We'll do it over here. Leave that in the sink. And this. Oh, you know what? I didn't salt and pepper my hamburgers. But it's not too late. 
I always do something like this, you know, when I'm trying to impress you. It won't make any difference whether it's on the outside or the inside. I'll set these back here, my little Dr. Pepper shakers, by those fry. Now these have been frozen, so they're chunky. But I want to tell you what I love. Where you always have your french fries. I don't make french fries. Well, I buy them and I stick them in a skillet and, woo, and heat them up. Now here's what I'm going to do. If I can, without spilling it all over the plate. I'm going to kind of hammer these because they're, ch they're chunky and I won't lose them. All. Yeah, this is working okay. Can you see what I'm doing? You can tell how professional I am, can't you? This is the proper brand of, let's see what it says, Southern Style Dice Hash Brown. I want you to look at this package. See what you, because you don't want to make a mistake and get the wrong package, because it's easy to do. This is what you want. See what the potatoes look like? Diced Hash Brown. When I discovered these, I said, don't need any other kind. So, what I've done here, because they were frozen, I got them ready. They're ready to fry. So I can turn my skillet on, get it started heating up, and when it heats up, I'm going to add these to the skillet and let them fry while my hamburger's frying. Now I've got to put these back in that bag I had. What to do with the bag? You see it? Oh, I used it. Well, we'll find a way of fixing these. I'll put it back in the freezer because that's all I'm going to need for me. Keep my hamburger frying. Oh gosh, I know they're going to be good. They have to be good. I'm going to let those fry. And I am a mayonnaise person. Don't give me ketchup. Don't give me tomatoes. Give me a good slice of onion, red onion. my mayonnaise, my cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. But this is just plain old American cheese, one slice. This is going to go on my hamburger whenever it's ready. I'm just going to leave it right here. I'll just put in this green dish so it's handy. Next thing is my lettuce. Now, I don't know what condition my lettuce is in, but we'll find out real quick. I think we're going to be able to manage it okay. All right, let's get some of this lettuce out. I'll put it here in the bowl with the, uh, with my cheese. Come on now, open up here. Uh, let's see. Let's peel off the layer. It's not quite right for me. I don't like that limp lettuce. I bet you don't either. So, I'm just going to tear this off. Come on. I don't need this. I'm just going to peel off a section of lettuce for my hamburger. 
This is all I'm going to need. Just enough for one bun. That's going to sit right there. It's ready whenever my hamburger is. All right, this goes back in the fridge. There's that. Now let me see if my skillet's ready for my potatoes. I think they may be. I'm gonna turn this back around. I don't know if we're seeing the skillet or not. Don't think we are. I may have to pull this back a little bit. Let's see if that works. Yeah, here we are. Come on, open up. Now this is a lot of potatoes. But I'll eat them. In the skillet. Salt. Pepper. Holes in this is kind of small. Yeah, I need a little on this side too, don't I? Then more salt on this side. Now, and then mayonnaise is ready. Put this in the sink where it can be ready to wash. I got my iron stone kettle in here too, so I don't have room for both things in the sink. Just have to let a little water run in that for a minute. Okay, you're not watching me. I need a cameraman. Or a woman. Either one will work. As long as they know how to turn an iPod around. I tell you what, I'll never learn all this computer technology stuff. Yeah, these are going to fry okay. Yeah. I didn't want to take too long with this video. But sometimes you just have to wait. And see what happens. I've already made a meatloaf for you, I think. I'm not sure. But, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to look back in my, uh, um, my list of contents and see if I did the meatloaf recipe. Because what I have noticed on YouTube is you've got a lot of people looking at recipes. A lot of people asking for recipes. And I'm thinking, why? you got two dozen, at least two dozen cookbooks in your own kitchen. Hold it. Yep, got a sneeze there. Who needs a new recipe? I don't think there is a new recipe. Anything that you prepare, someone else has prepared it ahead of you. What the young people think is new today Every now and then I'll say, oh, I love this new recipe. And I'm looking at that and saying, I was making that 50 years ago. My mother made it 60 years ago. And it went out of style. 
So now the young people think, you've got a new recipe. No, honey. It's not a new recipe. Your grandmother knew this recipe. She just quit cooking. My mother quit cooking. You get to that age. And I'm trying to quit cooking, but I I have a problem. With Jan thinks I need to go out to eat more often, but you know what? My refrigerator is always running over with food. Somebody has to eat it. So, why do I need to go out and spend $20 for lunch? When I've got enough in my refrigerator just for a sit-down meal. No. The other thing is... I like my cooking better than I do theirs. Yeah, I know that's kind of bragging, but that, I, I think we all do. We know what we like. We prepare it the way we like. And now and then you'll come across a recipe. You say, gosh, that is really good. I wonder how they made that. And you know what I do? I ask, will you tell me what you did? And they will tell you because they're proud to know that you like what they have cooked. Oh, Mama was such a good cook. And you know, I'm always burning something in the oven. Don't burn that on top of the stove, it's in the oven. I put my sausage and biscuit in the oven in the morning. Then I go into the living room and I turn on my iPad. See if I've got any new messages. Well, okay, yeah, I've got a few. I read them, and I read them, and I read them, and all of a sudden it occurs to me, I've got a sausage biscuit in the oven. I get back to the kitchen, and what do you know? Well, it's not black, but it's getting close to it. I try to eat the middle of it out, and throw the rest away. That's my cooking, you know. I forget when I put things in the oven. And if I tell this, Jan's going to see it, and she's going to say, quit cooking in the oven. You're going to set the house on fire. Well, that's probably true, but I take my chances just like you do. Got to stir these potatoes a little more. In fact, I like a little grease in my potato. I'm just going to add a little more olive oil and it gives them that crisp, nice crisp fried potato taste. You're going to wish you were here with me when the hamburgers get done, when the potatoes get done. Now I've got my bun ready. All I have to do is add mayonnaise. Sometimes I add mustard. Come on, turn the camera around. Get over here where you're supposed to be. Find me a knife. There's a knife. Get my mayonnaise on my bun. I'd never do any good in a restaurant. That fire made the first day. I don't know how to do anything quick enough. Okay. Now well, I can put my piece of cheese on. Yeah, I kind of, I don't like it hanging over the uh, bun over the edge. So I trim it off and then I kind of layer it a little bit. Because they're making the bones smaller nowadays and piece of cheese too big. I was going to uh, add more onion, but I don't think I will. I think I've got enough onion in my uh, hamburger. I need a plate. Where's the plate? 
Let's see if I can get one out of here. Okay. Here's me a plate. Let us over here. My hamburger will be on this. And I'm not going to use the onion. But I'll need room for my potatoes. Let's see how these potatoes are doing. They're coming along okay, but I want them to brown a little bit. are so good. You'd be surprised. I'm going to see if these need turning again. I think maybe I will turn them one more time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to turn them again. And they'll be ready to eat. Oh, gosh. Now I'm going to go see what's on TV. I haven't seen that lately. I saw a movie last night. Uh, Pink Naked Hanging Rock. I've seen that movie two or three times over the years. It's an old one. I have never figured it out. It's the weirdest movie ever was. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. The hamburgers will finish. My friend. Fried, they're not french fried, they're diced potatoes are finishing up. Just gonna let them brown a little bit. And I need my Dr. Pepper it's in the living room. This is going to be put in the refrigerator. What did I do with that container? I had a container here. Well, I'll just leave it in there. I hope you all have these. See these little bowl covers? You can buy those at Dollar Tree and get, I don't know how many, get eight or ten of them. And when you can't find the lids to your plastic containers and your bowls and you don't have the right size, these little things are so handy. I've got two packages of them, and I use them all the time. Let's see, and mayonnaise goes back in the refrigerator. And i got to get this show on the road. You people got to go to bed tonight. All right, turn back around. Let's get me a hamburger out of here. Woo -wee. This looks pretty good. Can you see this? Let me turn around this way. Looking good, isn't it? Okay. Now, if you had your tomato and your ketchup, You'd be happy. They're just starting to brown a little, but I think I'm going to take them up because I don't want to take up any more of my camera time. You can see what they look like. I'll give you a little tilt of the Skillet. Now I'm going to have to put these in a dish. Yeah, I'll put them in this dish. No, this one's the best one. This is my little, you got the little corningware dish. Okay, I'm going to put these right in that little dish.
there we go. There's my fried potatoes. See my fried potatoes? Can you see them? Now you might like them. I like them a little bit brown. But there's my potatoes. Put that on there. I've got my hamburger here. My lettuce. My mayonnaise is on it. And I've got my Dr. Pepper in the living room. I want you to see I'm ready. Let's set that back down. You can't get a good look at this. I've got to move this camera. Okay, there's my supper. Does it look good to you? Well, it does to me. And I'm gonna tell you later if it was good. So whatever we missed out on, couldn't have been very important or I'd have told you. Isn't that right? Yeah. So y'all take care and I'll let you know how my hunger was tonight. Good night.